my guys AJ here today we're going to be talking about the Apple conference so April the 20th which is today um, it's 10 o'clock here in the UK and it'll be kicking off here at 6 p.m. and 10 a.m. Uh, Cali time <laughs> to expect well a new iPad Pro is apparently in the works uh, for tonight um, but whether that is true or not we don't know it's just rumors it could be for June uh, which is not far away itself um, we also have possible AirPods 3 now not a bad design there's lots of fakes out there um, so don't buy them you might be on a budget but they could be dangerous uh, they could catch fire in your ears they could they could start melting when you're charging them um, and they might not have all the features that is promised um, as well sound quality might be naff uh, one of my videos that I did um, showed that the similar ones the black airpod pro 3s that I had or ones whatever they're called um, they are quite pants and the battery life is not very good either um, the other thing that could be tonight is air tags. Um, as I've said in my previous videos, I don't see the point of them to be honest. No one really sort of tracks things, um, but it's I suppose it's a if you want to track a bag or track your car, um, if your wife's cheating on you, I suppose you could track where she is, <coughs> or husband, um, or your kids. You know, put it in their school bag or their laptop bag if they go to uh, wherever, Oxford. Um, yeah, so that's that. Maybe another Apple TV, I hope so soon, because I need an upgrade. Uh, I've got an Apple TV version three, um, which is unjailbreakable apparently. And, uh, which I don't really jailbreak my stuff anymore. I think I left that behind in the iPhone six or six plus that I had back in the days. Um, so that's different. Hopefully that'll come out um, and I will buy that. Apple Watches, probably not until later on this year with the new iPhones, I would probably say, or maybe, maybe in June. And iOS 15, they probably won't announce that tonight. Um, they might do, but I don't think so. I think it'll be more like June, because then we have to wait till spring, not spring, what's the opposite of spring, after summer, you then have autumn. So autumn, whatever America call it, I can't remember now, leave drop in time um, will be when iOS 15 will come out and I really hope that it's a, a transformation so not much difference has happened over the past sort of few iOS's to be honest um, not real sort of wow factor and I hope that they do change it up a bit and make it a bit more up to date because it's starting to lag behind certainly Safari I think is quite annoying when you click on the screen to say submit something and then you have to do it again for the screen to then it's sort of like a bottom bit comes up and then you submit. I think that's just something that they should have sorted out years ago. I don't know why we have that still. Um, it's a bit basic. You don't get that with the other brands. So uh, what else? Mac, perhaps new Macs um, coming out with the M1 chip. Uh, iPad Pro, like I said, might have the LED, uh, mini LED screen there might be a new iPad mini, um, just a new chipset, not much else difference in that. They'll always probably have a, a button at the bottom. A lot of people with disabilities prefer that. Um, so perhaps that's one reason why they'll carry on making those. Um, back to the IMAX. Um, I think there'll be a new coloration of IMAX. Uh, apparently that's quite a concrete one. So either tonight or in June, they'll advertise those. So it'll be similar colours to, was it the iPad Air or the iPad 8, whatever it was that came out last year with the uh, fingerprint recognition button on the side. Um, so it'll be something similar to that in colours, I've heard. Maybe I saw something this morning. It could be um, with the AirPod 3s. They may come out in different colours, but I just can't see that. I can't see Apple ever doing that, to be honest. Um, when you want them to do something they never do, 
like IE, I think they should get rid of Space Grey and have a nice brilliant black, piano black with the phones, um, with the Macs, it should be matte black, and the Apple Watches certainly should be, you know, then it'd be easier to match, I think, um, would be a lot better. So we'll see with that. Uh, the new Apple Watches that should be coming out this year, the Sevens, should hopefully, if rumours are right, have the same edging as the iPhone 12's family. So that would be good. Um, it could all match together. So then when I get my iPhone 13, that will have a, a matching edge with that. Um, and my payments for my both the watches, my wife's SE and my 4 Nike Edition will be ending. Um, I think it's like October or something like that. So that would be good. Anyway, so without to do further ado, I think that's it for tonight is something to really look forward to um, and I really can't wait for that. Um, I think it's gonna be really, really good. They say that there are gonna be a few surprises. So it'd be great if Apple Glass came out as well. Be interesting to see how that works um, with um, the way things are. I think it's always good, just let the cat out. Um, that, you know, if they bring some things out that Apple haven't done before, so if it was AirTags, if it was Apple Glass, um, an AR headset, I mean, I'm not interested in that, but if Apple can really make it amazing, it'd be something that I'd like to preview, or review rather, on my channel. Um, that'd be exciting. That'd be weird, and it'd be hard to show you guys how it is. Um, I'd have to stick my iPhone in there, or you'd probably have to use your iPhone for it to work, maybe. Um, but that'd be cool, that'd be brilliant. And yeah, um, I think that's it really. I, I can't see Apple bringing anything else out tonight or this year that is gonna really wow us or that no one has picked up on that Apple might come out with. I mean, there's lots of patents for flip phones, um, fold phones, slide phones, but nothing concrete as yet. Um, and probably the earliest for one of those is 2023. So quite far quite far away um, but we shall see I don't think you know I'd like to have the flip phone the small one um, I saw that on zone of tech last night and that looked pretty cool it's just a dummy phone that he had but it did look really good um, and that's something that I'd be interested in uh, a slide phone like the old like motor rollers and stuff the old-fashioned ones or the old-fashioned Nokia which was like the banana phone um, I don't know, would that look cool? Uh, yeah, I suppose. And Apple always do things right when they make something, it looks good. It's just the colours that they come out with sometimes are a bit pants. Um, but we'll see. But anyway guys, I don't think there's anything else I can talk about for tonight until we actually see the goods. And then tomorrow or tonight, I'll make a video um, of all the exciting stuff. So. Stay tuned guys, it starts in the UK at 6 p.m. European time, not much different from that, probably an hour ahead. Um, so it'll be 7 p.m. and in Cali and other places around America, starting from 10 a.m. So stay tuned guys, not many hours to go. What hours, how many we got now? Six, seven, so eight hours here in the UK. And I'll see you all soon on the other side. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. Peace. Thank you.